Hey guys, what's going on? So, it's that time of year again where I am preparing to go on my next trip. Um, and usually before I go, I get a few things to make my trip a little bit easier. And if you're new to the channel, um, I usually travel every winter. Right now I'm home in my hometown. Once it starts getting a little bit cooler, I usually head out and go someplace warm. And uh, if you haven't seen the other videos, you know that there's one thing that's always with me, and that is a water bottle. Uh, it's usually not the cleanest water bottle. I usually buy one and keep it for, you know, until I lose it or until someone tells me you need to throw that away because that's gross. <laughs> and uh, the reason is because I've heard that only like 10% of water bottles or of re recyclables only gets re actually recycled. So that leaves a lot behind that's just like sitting in landfills and it takes like 400 years for water bottle to biodegrade. So that's a really, really long time. So when I do get a water bottle, I try to get the most use out of, use out of it as possible. But um, you don't wanna risk your health. And I mean, I've read that uh, in one week, an unclean water bottle gains like 300,000 bacterias, whatever, and probably, you know, it's not very good for you probably. And um, I've always had kind of like stomach issues, so that could be, part of the problem who knows but anyway um, I saw this product this water bottle I'm gonna talk about that actually should fix all those problems um I guess I'll just jump right into it um, this is a lark water bottle that's the color I got this is the little container that they ship to you when you purchase it uh, and if you guys do want to purchase this I actually have affiliated links in the description and um, in the comments that if you click I get a little kickback so that really helps me out and I gotta say I had this for a little while this is not my first time opening it I've been using it for the last like month and it really is probably the best water bottle I ever had and um, hopefully I'll continue to use this for a very very long time hopefully I never have to buy another water bottle again I'd be very happy if I did not have to do that so with this it uses UVC technology which is not something new uh, that's been around for a very long time um, hospitals use it to clean their area I have an air purifier that uses it to clean the air and this cleans the water 99.99 uh, .99 something of bacteria 99.9 .9, uh, viruses and it also kills um, parasites and among other things um, E. coli and all that stuff They've done lots of tests and all the studies and all that stuff is on their website. If you do want to look into that and see all the tests that they've done and all that. And you know, like I said, it's not new technology and uh, it's very, very safe and all that stuff. And there's actually like all the, I'll open this in a second. All the technology is actually in the cap itself, which I'll just open right now. Uh, this is what comes when they ship it to you. And it has like you know instructions and kind of talks about it here I had this for about a month so this is not the first time opening it and so far I absolutely love it but it comes with all this stuff uh, talks about it for recharging um, and different kind of settings on here and I'll talk about that right now too so that's what's inside here and then it comes with rechargeable cord which is really cool when you charge this uh, it lasts for like a month or two it depends um, how, of course, how much you use it, and there's different kind of uh, cycles that you use. The first one, uh, if you're using it for like um, water out of the faucet, water out of the hose, water that you know you're kind of know it's safe, but you just want to be sure. Uh, and if you want to clean, you know, the 99.9 .9 bacteria and viruses. Now with all the viruses going around, it's not a bad I bad idea to do that. So the first cycle, you can just tap it once, and you can see there's water in here. I don't know if you're able to see it, but the blue light starts flashing slowly. And that's the 60 second cycle. And even with the 60 second cycle, that cleans 99.9 .9 something of the bacteria and viruses and parasites, you know, including that too. And then there's an adventure mode, which that's, this is what pretty much sold me. Uh, if you're out and about where you're not close to like a faucet or close to, you know, those other easy access to water, this actually cleans and purifies water from lakes, from streams, from rivers, from, you know, probably rainwater, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, that's the thing I was like, wow, I have to have that. Cause you know, 
I'm always outside, even doing jobs here in the summertime. Um, I've used this all the time, at least for the last month. That's how long I had it. If you go to the website, there's a lot of different, um, there's not just water bottles. There's like uh, containers, pitchers that you can use for the home so you can fill up more water. And there's filters you can buy. There's different colors. This is the uninsulated one. I choose that option because it's a lot lighter. And these little uh, things, this uh, holder actually does come off, so you want a different color. They have a lot of different color options. And they actually have another sleeve you can put on if you like that, but I just kind of got the basic. Uh, this is probably the most basic one you can get, but I like this because it's lighter. There's the insulated one that uh, keeps water cold for 12 hours. No, cold for 24 hours and hot for 12 hours. So if you're into that, um, there's that option too. But it's just a little bit heavier. It's probably you can't even tell the difference, but I don't I don't care if my water is hot or cold. So this is perfectly fine for me. And really, it, it is light. I'll wait until this is done. It's not quite three minutes yet. It's still going. So it's still cleaning. As we're talking, it's cleaning. So it's easy. That's what I like about it. Um, I've owned other ones where uh, you get it. And it, was, it wasn't difficult either, but you had to like, I had to press one and um, you had to change the filter every, you know, three months. And if you were someplace, like I was just in the Philippines for two and a half years and there was no place to buy different kind of filters. Um, you know, sometimes they wouldn't ship that far if it's like a US product or something like that. Something like this, all you have to do when it runs out of battery, just recharge it again. And it's good for like one to two months, of course, depending how much you use it. And to recharge it, it only takes like a few hours so even if you do have to charge it every few weeks or something like that it's not really that big a deal it's right here the plug-in that's actually waterproof up to like a couple meters i don't know exactly it says it on the website but that's okay if this gets wet if you like you drop it in the lake or something or something like that uh, or in the stream uh while you're trying to clean it it's really not that big of a deal because it's waterproof for a certain amount and there's like a little safety thing where this only turns on if it's closed and secured. It won't turn on like uh, just holding out here. So, you know, just in case those UV lights, it won't get in your eyes. So there's a safety device that won't turn on unless it's screwed in. But, you know, this is a 24 ounce, so it holds lots of water and there's different sizes on the website. Another really cool thing about this is that every two hours, this actually self cleans. So uh, you don't even have to do anything. It just will sit there and every two hours, it'll turn on for 60 seconds and uh, it'll self clean. And if you want that, feature to be turned off let's say if you're traveling and there's nothing in it you can just hold it for five seconds and then that will turn off and then you're ready to use it in you just turn it on for five hold it for t five seconds and then it'll turn on again i think that's about it uh this is definitely the coolest thing i ever owned um water to me is essential i mean for everybody but i always have water on me when i'm traveling that's like before i walk out the door that's one thing i make sure i always have is uh, a water bottle and now this is a much safer and more sanitary way of drinking water. And it's just a nice feeling knowing that you can have pretty much clean water wherever you go. I mean, if you're hiking, if you're near like some kind of water source, all you gotta do is dip it in and turn it on, double tap it for the adventure mode, and then that cleans it for three minutes and um, you're good to go. Sometimes even in different countries, you can't drink the water from faucets, from airports, or like in hotels or Airbnbs, wherever you're staying at. Most of the time, in a lot of places I go, you can't drink the water that are from the faucets. You have to, like when we go to a new place, usually the first thing I do is go buy like a big, uh, like 10 liter container and bring it up to the room and uh, have that for the drinking water. And now, I mean, all you gotta do is put this in the faucet. It's just fun to use too. I mean, uh, it's just like every time I fill it up, even if I don't need to, you know, hit the button, even if it's like clean water, I just do it anyway, just to kind of do it. And just to throw this out there, it does kind of have to be clear water. You know, you don't want to use like muddy, murky water because uh, the more particles that are in there, the harder it is for it to clean. So just kind of make sure it's more of a clear water. Um, which is totally fine for me because usually it's from airports, uh, hotels, um, and you know, usually rivers are pretty clear. So if you dip it in there, you can kind of tell by looking at it. If you go in and you can't see your hand when you put your hand in, don't drink, don't, this probably won't work for that. All right, so I'm gonna go down by the little creek and fill this up with water and see how it tastes. All right, hey guys, so we made it down to the creek. You can see it is pretty clear, not too bad down here. 
Um, I'm gonna get this top off and then hit the adventure mode and see how the water tastes. So I'm gonna put this in my pocket, doing this with one hand right now, and we'll see what happens. So I don't wanna get it too muddy. You can see it is pretty muddy down here. I'm gonna get some water in there. All right, so I'm gonna try not to lose my shoes. And then I will put this down here and put this cap back on. So this is where all the magic happens. You can see it got it about to right there. And by looking in there, it is pretty, it is clear water. So it should do its job. So I'm gonna hit this twice. One, two, and you can tell it's adventure mode when it starts moving faster. So this is gonna be, I think, three minutes. So I'll fast forward a little bit right now. And since we are doing it out of a creek today, I would advise to kind of swirl it around, make sure it gets every nook and cranny to get all those parasites, viruses, bacteria, E. coli, whatever else might be floating around in there. All right guys, so while we're waiting, I'm gonna take a little walk down here. Once you get away from that mud, it actually is better to walk in here because the sand is more hard. That water's nice and cool today. Let's see if we can find any creatures in here. I haven't seen any snapping turtles this year. I haven't really looked for them this year, but there's some deer marks. This is where they usually the deer usually cross. They run through here and up that way. All right, so I think it's about time. The uh, light did stop flashing. So I'm gonna put this camera up here. And I'm gonna take a swig and see how it tastes. All right guys, so it's been three minutes. The light turned off to let you know that it's time. I'm gonna unscrew it. Give it a little smell. Just smells like normal water. Looks like normal water. All right, so here we go. Yeah, it tastes like any other water. The same as you buy from the store or anything like that. So who knows what kind of bacteria or viruses it had in here before, E. coli, you know, parasites. But now all that is eliminated to leave you clean, safe drinking water. Anywhere you go, I mean, how cool is this? You can go hiking, uh, get it from the streams. You're by the beach, you can get it from the lake. Uh, if you're at airports, you can get it from the faucets. If you're at a hotel in a different country that you know usually can't drink the faucet water, you can clean everything out of there and drink it. So this is a water bottle that I'm really, really glad I got. I wish I had this for uh, you know all the other, for the last 10 years of travel that I've been doing. I wish I had it then, but you know, better late than never. So I'm gonna continue drinking this. But anyway, I guess that's about it. Um, for uh, those that are, you know, wondering when I'm going to start travel, I'll be traveling very soon. Uh, this is one of the last things that I got. So I almost have everything that I need. And then uh, the next thing is buying tickets and then I'll be on my way. So uh, I'll be using this a lot during my trip. So uh, I'll give like a three month or whatever review of how it's been going. But uh, really, really cool thing. So if you guys are interested in buying this, I'll leave the links in the description and in the comments. And I am affiliated with them. So um, I get a little kickback if you guys purchase it. By if you guys use the link. So, all right. So that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this helps someone. If you're looking for a cool water bottle, uh, not just cool, just, I mean, safe. If you want safe, clean water wherever you go, pretty much, uh, I do recommend this so far. So, uh, yeah. So I guess that's about it. I'll see you guys later. All right, bye-bye.